I recognize, recognizes Ms. Radawagon for five minutes. Well, thank you, uh, Chairman Westerman and Ranking Member Grijalva for holding this hearing. And thank you, Secretary Holland, for your testimony. It's always good to see you, as always. I want to thank the Office of Insular at, uh, Interior for the work they do on behalf of the territories. I appreciate the support and testimony, Assistant Secretary Cantor and Deputy Assistant Secretary Nakor gave on behalf of my bill, H.R. 6062, and our efforts towards self-determination and self-governance. I also appreciate that the FY25 budget proposal includes level funding for the American Samoa Operations Account. The stated goal of OIA's assistance to the territories is to offset the difficulties caused by our geographic and economic isolation and encourage our island's eventual self-sufficiency. On a related note, in an often overlooked bit of history, American Samoa's first cannery many decades ago was built with support from a DOI initiative to kickstart our economy. Now, Starkist is second only to the local government as an employer. Unfortunately, our fishing industry and our self-sufficiency is now under existential pressure from overzealous and short-sighted green politics. As part of President Biden's 30 by 30 initiative, the administration has a pending marine sanctuary proposal covering the area around the Pacific Remote Marine Island Monument. The monument was already doubled in size by the Obama administration. And with this expansion, 777,000 square miles of tuna fishing grounds, which supply our cannery, will be subject to multiple layers of environmental oversight. To put that in perspective, that is over four times the size of California. Our natural resources are already protected under the Magnuson-Stevenson Act, and adding another layer of bureaucracy adds no further protection. Expanding the monuments without allowing for commercial fishing will devastate American Samoa's economy. I'll be requesting report language directing no less than $3 million from the operations account be allocated to the American Samoa Community College. The territories do not want to be a charity case, and we will invest in education and our island's future leaders and business owners will work to make every dollar count, and we need interior to ensure the money is going to go where it needs to go. However, I assure you that if the fishing industry fails in American Samoa, the long-term cost to the federal government will increase exponentially. Instead of our little $28 million buffer account, the territory will instead require hundreds of millions in federal assistance as our island drops below even further the poverty line. So Secretary Holland, would you be able to get us an update on the status of the Marine Sanctuary proposal? Since NOAA has a, sponsored a, a workshop, they did it last September, we've not heard anything. Congresswoman, thank you so much for the question. And um, I, I unfortunately, I can't give you a specific update now, but we would be more than happy to ensure that we reach out to your staff soon after this. Um, and, and certainly, if there's anyone in NOAA that you need to be in touch with, we're, we'll try um, to make sure that you are in touch with them. But you're absolutely right. Indigenous voices are incredibly important here, and I appreciate you um, saying that, and, and we abide by that. Considering DOI's uh, obligations to the territories and the fact that nearly 80% of American Samoa's exports and port traffic revolve around the cannery, what is your contingency plan to cover the potential GDP loss if the cannery closes? Again, I apologize. I, I can't answer that specifically, but absolutely, we will take that back and, and make sure that we get you detailed information on that question. So, Secretary Holland, can I have your commitment to DOI and OIA's oversight authority of the territory? Will you ensure that federal funding going to the territories is being used for intended social programs and that territorial governments get the technical assistance they need to implement those programs and avoid waste? We absolutely will follow the law and we appreciate all of your support on um, the work that we did on the COFA. 
Thank you, Madam Secretary. I also have some questions for the record regarding the Marine Monument and its impact on the territories that I'm hoping you'll be able to bring back for an administration response. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back the Thank balance you. of my time, which is none.